Hello, Air Fryer Nation. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Jersey Air Fryer Guy. Today we're going to make breaded pork chops and mozzarella sticks for dinner. Doesn't that sound good? So to speed things along a little bit, I've already made uh, the breading that we're going to dip the pork chops in. And here it is. And uh, I'll show you exactly what the, the ingredients are. I'll put the entire recipe under the descriptions. The first thing I used was a quarter cup, I'm sorry, a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, then a quarter cup of Italian breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. You mix all that up, and that's what it will look like. We should have just enough to do, our, to do all our pork chops. And I also already beaded up one egg. So we're gonna do all that. So here are our pork chops that I, I got. Just three pork chops. And I already seasoned them with some salt. So if you wanna use salt, go ahead. I put salt on there and spread it around real good. And that, that's really it. So let's get to cooking. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to dip our pork chops in the eggs to get a good coating on there. And then after that, we'll put it in our breadcrumbs. Okay, this is real quick and easy. Now we're gonna have to refrigerate our, our breading. I found if you take these and put them right to the deep fryer, the breading comes off and that's no good. Everybody likes the, the breading. So just put it back and forth. These are going to come out really good. This is the second time I've made this. And uh, they're really good. Get them nice and crispy. Okay? And we're going to put them in here to put in the refrigerator. Real important to put them, I found to put them in the refrigerator. Okay? We'll mix them up in some eggs here. All right. There we go. Dip them in eggs. Now back into our, our breading, shake them up. I used to be the king of shake and bake, but now this is what I'm doing. This is actually a lot better than shake and bake. Okay, look at that, that's coming out good. Okay, shake off the excess, put them in our Tupperware. We've got one more pork chop to do. Uh, the egg, the reason we use the egg, the egg helps the uh, breading uh, stick to the pork chop. That's what I've been told and I found it works pretty well so I always try to do that. Okay, this is going to be a really quick and easy recipe today guys. The pork chops take 12 minutes to cook in the air fryer. That's it. And the mozzarella sticks I'm going to make in 6 minutes. And we'll make them tonight. Those are really easy to make. Okay, so we shake them up really good. Okay, there we are. All right, so I'm going to put these in the refrigerator now. And when I come back in a few hours, uh, we'll cook our dinner. It's gonna be really good. And like I said, it'll take 12 minutes to cook and we'll be eating then. So in a few hours, I'll see you guys then. Thanks. Welcome back, Air Fryer Nation. It's been three hours since we put our breaded pork chops in the refrigerator, and now it's time to cook. My assistant Scuttles is going to help too. She's supervising. Uh, what I did before we started filming is I bought the Beast out. This is my Bella 8 quart air fryer and I preheated the oven to 400 degrees so it should be good to go. Now we're going to uh, put our pork chops in there and cook them. We're good, good, good news is we're going to be eating in about 12 minutes. Doesn't take very long. So first thing you want to do is use our olive oil sprayer as always, I'll put a link on there where you can pick that bad boy up on Amazon. And we can only fit in two pork chops. See, this is how they came out. And I'll cook the third one a little bit later. You don't want to overfill your basket. If you overfill the basket, they're not going to get cooked. And they're not going to be crispy. So I'm going to take two big ones in there. And there they are. Okay. So now we're going to hit them with a little olive oil spray and we're 
We're going to cook them at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. Okay, so cook up to 400 and 12 minutes, and this will go. Uh, they, uh, six minutes, I will flip them over, and at that time, we'll also make our mozzarella sticks. So I'll be back in six minutes. We'll flip our pork chops and we'll make our mozzarella sticks then. Thanks. Welcome back, Air Fryer Nation. Now it's time to flip our pork chops and make our mozzarella sticks. It's been six minutes. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, they look good. Golden brown already. See those? Come out really good. Let's see if I can flip these without burning myself. And there we go. And we leave plenty of room. And don't forget to spray them again with our olive oil sprayer. Okay, let's put these back in and let's make some cheese sticks. Now the mozzarella sticks we're using are just simple farm rich mozzarella sticks. Bought them at Walmart. And we're gonna make them in little red. This is our 1.6 quart Bella Air Fryer. This one is just perfect, the right size for making things like these. So easy. I'll have these done in six minutes. You make these in the oven, you're looking at a half hour. So we'll just take these out of the bag and we'll throw a few in there. You don't want to overfill the basket again. We got too many in there. There we go. Alright, there are our mozzarella sticks. Hit them with our sprayer. We're going to cook them at 400 degrees for six minutes. No preheating required. All right, that's six minutes. I'm going to flip them halfway, but I'm not going to show that part. So when I come back in six minutes, uh, it'll be dinner time. So I'll see you then. Welcome back, Air Fryer Nation. Our dinner is ready to eat. Our pork chops are done. And let's give you the first look at them. Can you hear that sizzle? Look how good those came out. Golden brown. Those are really good. Let's take these out. And our mozzarella sticks just dinged also. Look at that. Look how good they came out. Perfect golden brown. Okay. Let's put this back and check out our mozzarella sticks. I also made some dipping sauce for our mozzarella sticks. I have some uh, pizza sauce I made on the stove. And check out our mozzarella sticks. These are really good. And I also made some green beans because my wife says I'm not eating enough vegetables. So I got green beans on the stove that I'm going to be adding in also. So let's see how this came out. Okay, we'll cut into one of these and these are really juicy and really good. You see that? Oh, that looks good. Okay, see the steam coming off, and we'll also do a mozzarella stick. These came out really good too. Okay, and we'll dip them right in our, our dipping sauce. All right. Okay, guys, I just finished up. Now it's time to eat. I'm hungry, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks. Okay, guys, the uh, pork chops came out really good. Uh, they tasted just like you would have deep fried them, except I made them in an air fryer, and they were really good. The mozzarella sticks were good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you like. So, um, I am Tom, the Jersey Air Fryer Guy. This is my sidekick, Skittles, and we wish everyone a pleasant evening, and thanks for watching my video.